What is up everybody, it's EZ, EZP Gaming, for another Brutal Age video. We now have the 6th Awakening available to us. New feature from Brutal Age. Before we get into that, introducing is Kronos Max 384. What a spectacular player. You'll probably hear a lot about the new slow team. It's kind of a new concept, new to me, uh, probably not new to everyone. And I, I think most of the time you're gonna have to use the green nomad and it's it's To combat some of these speed teams some of the stun teams and you'll use the green nomad to slow everyone down to his speed So therefore you don't have to have all the high speed uh, Partners and then you can use the high hit point high high attack and This particular team is is pretty unbelievable the way this turns out I don't know how he thought of this or how, or if it just got happen to work out this way but he's, he's using the new five-star partner the marionette I think the marionette's gonna be in a lot of your top end ranked matches just from the small glimpse that I've got the past few days also using the green nomad the green nomad will get the first attack and remember it also has the the Lord of the grasslands which means that everyone on, the t on both sides will be slowed down to his speed that's why he always gets the first attack. Uh, he's really taken off. Um, you see him in almost all of the rank matches, top ten. I think he's in a, at least in half of them. And watch, watch what happens here as the marionette dies. She brings back the little little red ghost or little ghost. Ghost brings back Green Nomad, so it goes from having one partner back to three. Nomad takes out the Colonel. Now down to just the uh, down to the Red God of Earth. Red God of Earth takes out the Green Nomad. Down to Catfish Fighter versus the Red God of Earth. Catfish Fighter might be the best one-on-one -on -one partner. Uh, argue for the Blue Nomad too, but um, with a shield after every attack, he's hard to beat one-on-one. -on -one. So great match. So here's uh, at at the Fifth Awakening, you get these new skills. Human at the end of the first three rounds, you'll reduce defense for, for uh, two random enemy. And remember, this is all going to happen after the fifth awakening. After the, th the fourth awakening, you get a big boost. Ocean is another one. At the end of the first three rounds, apply immunity for one random teammate. Also, dispel one debuff on the teammate. So, immunity and debuff every partner ha is going to be assigned a specific um, I don't know what they're calling the skill I haven't been on the Brutal Age Facebook page but you know you'll find a lot of the stuff on the Brutal Age Facebook page if you guys are interested in, in the Facebook you should try try to check out the Brutal Age Facebook page there's a lot of stuff on there I've seen a lot I've been in a a couple of lot, the big line chats and there's a lot of communication with some of these high-ranking players with Brutal Edge they give a lot of information to the players and um, th there is a lot of feedback on what they're doing in the future there's a lot of stuff planned Beast is another Beast you'll uh, you'll get an, an increase in attack and also Inflict injury on the on the other team. So that's a, a kind of a two-way Nature another one. There's a bunch of different uh, skills So they're kind of classified each of the partners in these different skills Starting at the end of round one you get 15% hit, uh, hit point for two teammates with the lowest hit point percentage It's triggered again at once every three rounds. So this is an ongoing thing. Some of these skills are ongoing They don't just happen for the first three rounds. I Don't know who else is in nature but I did check out a bunch of different partners to kind of get a feel on who's in what. You're going to see a lot of human. I mean, a lot of human. That's probably the most popular one. Going to see a lot of Mr. Dagger. <laughs> get to take a little glimpse of what I have behind the curtain. Won't see too many level 40s. Another dragon. Starting at round one. Increase the action bar for two random teammates by 20%. It will also be triggered every three rounds. So every three rounds, you'll have some the action bar randomly triggered. Yeah, human, human. 
that's another nature a little flower and um, if you haven't seen the, what the little flower can do once it's start awakening its skills change and he, he, they start to poison everyone on the whole team and we've had some elite players really utilize that well I've seen them stack up 25 poisons on the opponents undead starting at round one apply Nirvana for two rounds on one random teammate can be triggered every three rounds this could really change a lot of the ways people attack too because some of these are, are pretty big um, uh, Nirvana is not, is not a small thing you know it's uh, it makes it really hard to knock someone out when they have to fun on them I'm gonna cycle through some of the level 35s here's another one his ocean I think we we hit this earlier yeah um, then the first three rounds you apply immunity Plus, I think it's a debuff. Here's Dragon starting at round one. Increase the action bar for two random teammates. Getting into the level 35s I have. Got level 35 Bally. Gotta do it. And yes, Jello is undead. In case you didn't know what Jello was. I think we knew Little Ghost was. But Drumbeater. Now we know what's behind the mask. I thought it was a little girl. Something odd happens too, and I, I don't know if it is just uh, if it was just an accident or, or what. I was trying to see how many how many uh, undead there were. There's quite a few, but I'll, I'll I'll go over that here in a second. This may change soon anyway, but we're gonna find out. You notice all the three star partners I have for everyone out there wondering collect all as many three three star partners as you can make them into four stars you use your four stars to make five stars it's a large long process called the partner grind I've actually started a wolf myself too blue and here's what I was talking about. Here's the catfish. This special partner is recommended to be used as materials. Now, of course, the catfish experience, we'd all expect that to be just like that. But what I had clicked on earlier that I was really kind of surprised was one of the other partners. It's actually a special partner that's uh, kind of rare. And it was Sharky. Sharky. Come on, click on it. Eventually, I'll click on Sharky, and it is also classified as a catfish. A special partner that's recommended to use as materials. I'm not using my catfish as materials, or my Sharky, rather. So that about wraps it up. Get to six star, six awakening. It's going to be tough, but you're going to see a lot of good players get there. Next video, got the final three stars in our partner guide. We're going to wrap it up on the three stars, so we can finally get into the four stars. I want to get into some better partners for everybody. Hope you enjoyed it. I enjoyed making it. Sub to the channel if you haven't already. Do me that solid. Appreciate everyone. Till next time, it's been easy. Take care, everybody.